What is up, Gorilla Nation? It is Relentless here, bringing you yet another Division 2 video. If you would be so kind, be sure to show some love to the like button. Also, ground and pound that sub button if you happen to be new. And you can also reach up there, trigger the bell, so that way you have post notifications on so you never miss a live stream or a video that is uploaded. Well, I've looked all over social media. I've tweeted at Thylander and, of course, the Division 2 game, UB Massive, Hamish, uh, Yannick. And more or less deciphering, is this intended or is it just some uh, misconception or, or under oversight, I should say. I, I don't know the, the proper term for it. But anyways, typically the way the exotic weapons work, if they drop 500, then you know every 500 uh, exotic weapon will drop with the same base damage. Now, I farmed and have several Pestilences, uh, Merciless, Sweet Dreams even the eagle all have the same base damage when you acquire them but this new exotic the chameleon that dropped with episode three no two are the same there's no two that is identical and here is my evidence to support this claim now this particular chameleon i got dropped for me and its base damage is only 1096 now, the group that I was with, we each got a chameleon. I actually got a second one today, but I gave it away. But I got them to send me screenshots of their base damage. Now, I can understand maybe one just being a fluke, but no, four chameleons, four different base damages. So I'm still waiting on a reply from uh, some dev to you know let me know that is this intended or it's just some unforeseen accident, but they're really all supposed to be dropping at you know the same base damage so i'm gonna throw up the screenshots of these other chameleons and see as you can see each one is a different base damage now i'm not sure as far as what the max roll would be on a chameleon but I'm pretty sure and confident in, in saying that none of these are really that close to its full potential because I've seen people all across social media and the YouTube sphere as far as showing the base damage. And there's some that actually, you know, go up there two or three K stronger than mine. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think this is intended? Or if it's just, you know, some accident, some glitch in the system, some glitch in the matrix. Or is it possibly a good thing? Because let's look at, you know, two sides of the same coin. It's pretty easily gotten. Um, just do heroic bounties is where uh, I would say 95% of everybody that I've played with has had their dropped. If it's not heroic bounties and it's some form of bounties. I had one person actually get it from a red that dropped it. Some got it from... Uh, Camp White Oak when it was the uh, assault rifle specific loot zone So definitely go farm the AR specific loot zones if there are any or, or if there's a mission that's you know AR specific or just you know grab you a group and do bounties that would be my suggestion just do the bounties and as far as definitely do the heroic bounties because that'll increase the chances of one dropping because there are multiple named bosses in it and along the way in doing those bounties you can actually complete the uh, stages of certain parts of getting that field research done for the firewall specialist so just wanted to point that out but I'm, I'm very curious to think as far as that you know two sides of the coin since it was easily obtainable right did they make it to where it's easy obtainable but knowing that you know each base damage is going to be different and like me i got a crappy one which is i'm happy to have one but since it is crappy then i would have to continue to farm to get better ones like we do on all the other uh, weapons that are in the game with the exception of our current exotics that we have uh, because they all drop with the same base damage this is the only outlier the only exception to you know the previous exotics that we currently have everything drops the same so that's one side of it is it intended that's why I think it might be intended because it is easily obtainable but yet I'm pretty sure they don't want it locked behind some event or something you have to do. But I think, you know, uh, a quest like we had to do with the uh, Nemesis or, you know, um, the SMG 
Um, I can't think of it. But yeah, the quest that you have to do in order to obtain certain parts, the chatterbox, uh, in order to get you know specific pieces in order to craft it, I think that would be a much better uh, than the, the method that they chose. But, you know, the method they chose makes it easily accessible and easily to obtain it's just that whole base damage debacle so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i appreciate all the love and support definitely loving the new update loving the new weapons as you can see my baby right here um, which is this particular build will be coming out later on today or first thing tomorrow and this absolutely slaps i mean 26.7 uh, and has 869 RPM along with the perfectly close and, and personal. Yeah, so stay tuned definitely for the video for this build. Uh, it's not really going to have a name. We're just more or less going to go for the whole um, aspect of this weapon slaps. So stay tuned for that title of that video. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you fudging later.